In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your BMW folding mirror problem. The problem that I'm referring to with the mirror is that it will fold past its stopping point. The mirror has a mechanical spring and pin that will lock the mirror in place. If you read online, you probably saw a lot of false information where they say that it has some kind of electrical sensor that makes it stop. You can fix your mirror for free and not have to spend five to seven hundred dollars on a new mirror. From start to finish, expect to spend one to two hours on this job if you've never done this job before. This mirror is from my 2007 335i, so if you do have a BMW that has the folding mirror option, this may be the fix for you. There's four screws that are in this little thing here, and you're gonna have to remove whatever this piece is. Of course, I'm not really that familiar with these parts, and probably nobody is unless they're a mirror expert. Be sure not to break that like I did. And also, yeah, once you've got that off, go ahead and remove those bolts. And that silver piece is actually the pin that is stuck. You can see it kind of got stuck on the gasket piece. That gasket piece will come off once you remove or once you pull back the little tabs that hold it together. You don't have to disconnect the electrical plug unless you want to. I just did it because it made it easier for me to be able to work with this part. Here's a bonus tip. Don't break that piece right there. It's a good idea to go ahead and clean the whole inside of this. The pin and mine got stuck because of corrosion. It, there's a spring behind that pin that makes it stick out and compress when necessary so I had to beat my little pin thing out with the little tack and it worked perfect to remove it it did, did take a lot of uh, hitting it to get it out of there but I just kind of edited the video so you didn't have to watch me hit it so many times what I did to remove the spring was I took a Torx bit screwdriver and just put it inside of this little hole here and moved it around and was able to remove the spring when it had, like attached itself to the little torque bit. Then I sandblasted the part here to get all the corrosions out because the thing still wouldn't move properly inside of its little hole there. And then after all that, I went ahead and just added new grease to help prevent any more additional corrosion. I put my spring back in there first, then I added the pin and by the way this piece apparently is not steel or metal i guess or it's i guess it's aluminum i don't know what what it's made out of the housing piece i'm talking about just make sure everything operates like it's supposed to and clean clean all the dirt and old grease off of these parts and just apply new grease so it uh, will work like a brand new mirror these parts do have to go back in a specific order, so watch this video very carefully as I put this together. On this piece here, you will have to remove the plastic bushing piece or whatever that is and press it in first. After you press that in, you have to press that piece that connects to it in on top of that and then add in the little worm gear thing and just make sure you have the little brass ends on them because they can come off. Then you can put your gasket thing on there and tighten it down with the Torx bit screwdriver. And be sure to add grease to this part too. After that, you can put this little thing in there. Make sure your two plastic pieces are there and the spring. And then you will have to compress that with a vice grip and then weld the, a washer on the back of it. If you weld it like I did, you will have to go back and port it out some so that the plug will go back through the hole. Don't forget to put your plastic cover over the underside of the mirror also. Here's the finished product after you've finished everything. If you notice that somebody did cut the wire on my mirror, but that's, that was white, like it when I bought the car, so I didn't do that. But you to install the mirror and take it off, you do have to remove the door panel, and there's three Torx screws that you take out. There's this little plug that the mirror plug goes into. 
the plug connector rests on the inside of the mirror so be sure to press that in best you can and have the gasket around the door there so no water can get inside your car. Be sure to cycle the mirrors at least two times so that if it is off on the step piece it will reset itself and it will be good to go. So don't worry if the first time it does go all the way out because if it is out of position it will readjust itself. After all your hard work then take it for a test drive. Make sure that mirror doesn't fall off. Ha <laughs> ha.